In this lesson, I'll show you three examples on how to write the electron configuration from the periodic table. In other words, the technique that I show you here is somewhat of an extension of what you've seen earlier, where we learn how to write the electron configuration from scratch, but this time we'll use properties of the periodic table to help us do it quickly. The question reads, use the periodic table to write the electron configuration for selenium. Right from a get-go, selenium has an atomic number of 34. This means that it has 34 electrons. The noble gas that precedes selenium in the periodic table is argon. In other words, if we take a look at the periodic table, selenium is right here, and the noble gas that precedes it is argon. So what we can do is write down AR like this, and if you take a look, selenium is in the fourth row. This block right here is the S block, this is the D, this is the P, and this is the F. And for a clearer visual, this is what I'm referring to. So after AR, we can write down 4S2, because this orbital holds up to two electrons, and then 3D10, this holds up to 10 electrons, and since selenium is right here, which is four from the D block, we can write down 4P4. This represents the amount of electrons that's found in this orbital, and keep in mind that this orbital in total can hold up to six. Now the reason why I wrote this in that order, in case you did not know this, is the diagonal rule. The diagonal rule tells us the order in which the orbitals occur. So after 4S comes 3D, 4P, and then the next one would have been 5S, but we don't need to go that far. That's the answer to question number one. Let's try question number two. This time they want us to do the same thing, but for bismuth. Now let's find out where bismuth is on the periodic table. Bismuth is found right here. It has an atomic number of 83, so there are 83 electrons. Now to do this quickly, we will use the preceding noble gas, in our case is xenon, and it has 54 electrons. So let's go ahead and write it out. We have xenon, and if you go back to this, Bismuth is found in the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6th, 6th row. These two electrons are filled in. That's 6s2. Let's write that down. 6s2. And then we go past the F block. Take a look. The F block is right here. So picture this block right here. Of course, we don't have a sheet that's wide enough to fit this here, that's why we write them underneath. And if you look at the diagonal rule, after 6s comes 4f. And this orbital holds up to 14 electrons. So we'll write down 4f14. After that comes the d block, and that holds up to 10 electrons. So we'll write down 5d10. And lastly, we move into the P part over here, and since it's three from this block, we'll write down 6P3, 6P3. Finally, we can move on to question three, and this time we're doing it for iodine. Iodine has 53 electrons. Its preceding noble gas is krypton. So we'll write down KR, and we don't have to worry about the F block this time, so we'll write down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5s2, 5s2, it holds two electrons, and taking a look at the diagonal rule, after 5s comes 4d, and that's what we will expect, so let's write down 4d10, and since our element is over here, after 4d, taking a look, comes 5p, 5p, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5p5. And there you have it. That is how to write the electron configurations using the periodic table.